Hello, Plainfield Special Ed. I just wanted to check in uh, and let you know um, we've added uh, students to some of your accounts. Uh, you can check by going here, account information, student information. You should see your students here. If you have a list of students and they're not in there, let us know. Um, Marcos gave us the list. We can probably get more and um, send those students to your accounts. If you'd like to add a student, you could always do that by hitting add new student. First name, last name is all we need. Um, if you have the Gen Ed ID, that'd be great too, but you just need a first name and last name. Um, also, we've added, it, because we, we had the screeners done for most of them, um, if your screener was submitted, when you go to your curriculum, um, or you go to progress monitoring data, you would see screener results. And you should have results from your students if they are not there, then they were not done. Um, if they were not done, you could technically do it. Uh, you can also now get your parents, your um, the guardians or the parents of your students to do it as well. And I'm just gonna walk you through that process. Click on curriculum, screener, pick the grade level that you're working with. If you are a teacher and you wanna do it, because it wasn't done before, you can click on teacher and fill it out. You just need to enter the student's first name and last name as it appears in your roster and then answer the questions. Um, you also have your student version. So if you want, you can technically do this for your students uh, or have them do it. You can click on students. This is a live link. You can copy it. You can send it to them in a Google Classroom or however you're communicating with them. Um, and you also have your home link for parents. So you could copy this, send it to the parents, um, and then they would just put in their child's first name, last name, and they would just answer the questions. And when they submit it back at the end, there's 15 questions, they would click on submit, and then you would get that information in progress monitoring data. Okay, so you would see screener results, Let's go to one that has multiple submissions. So if I go to uh, Daniel here, it's a pop-up. You will see that the teacher results would be here. Student screener results, if you had your students do it, would be here. And then your home screener results. So if your parents um, and guardians submitted, you would get that. And now it'll give you some guidance as to what lessons you could do. So right here it says relationship skills. That's something that student needs to work on. You can click on curriculum, go to relationship skills, and there's a variety of lessons here that you can do at your convenience with your students.